Hey everybody, today we are going to be updating the raid creation video. So we'll be building a raid and we will be triggering the raid. I've had a few questions from my last video because it's now slightly outdated. Some updates to StreamerBot have caused it to now be confusing. So now we're going to get through it. We're going to build a new one. We're going to trigger a new one. So hopefully it will help people. I will be releasing this video on my regular RTG channel. However, I have made an RTG how-to channel. Next few videos, that's a how-to video, will probably be on both until hopefully the RTG how-to kicks off and people start going to that one instead of coming here, in which case I'll stop putting them on here. But nonetheless, what we are going to do, we are going to start by making a scene that is a raid. Uh, I've already added some sources. So what I have added is my GIF. All I did was go to wherever you have your GIF, your video, whatever it is, it's going to come up on the screen. Um, I have a GIF that's going to come up on screen. I know where that's at. I just went and put it there. And then I also have a sound. And I went and found it by just adding a media source, you know, add, go to media source, go pick out where it is, bring it up here. I have the saxophone. <laughs> And then I have a GIF going on right here. So the only other thing that you may need to add is a text. And I would just call this Raiders. And you can just put Raiders here. You can change the font, do whatever you want. This won't be what stays here, but that's all you need to type there. Just to identify what it is, you'll need to add another text and put viewers because that's going to be your count. And again, I just put viewers. Now we have these here. Uh, we can kind of place them, you know, roughly where they're going to go underneath the GIF. But one thing I do recommend that you do, right click inside the box, go to transform, edit transform, under bounding box type, hit scale to inner bounds. Do that for both of these because what it will do is whenever a long name, short name, whatever that name is, it is going to, um, do I have a, there we go. It is going to let the name stretch with the box. So if it's a big long name, that's fine. If it's a short name, everything will fit inside of it. So let's put this where it's going to be roughly underneath the GIF. Now we're all set. We can hide all of this. Now we can go to StreamerBot. So over here, you will just go to your actions. I have groups. You don't have to have groups. If you have them, that's fine. If you don't, doesn't matter. All you need to do is add a new action. And yours will just be called Raid. Mine's going to be called Raid Tutorial. And um, now this is all brand new. So the first thing you're going to want is you're going to want Twitch to give the information to you. Okay. So you're going to want the information of who's rating you with how many. So you go right click and sub actions, go to Twitch, go to user, and you're going to get user info for target. And then you are going to click your source type from broadcaster to user because you don't need your own info. You want their info. So now you're telling it to give you the information. The next thing you're going to want to do is turn on your GIF, turn on your music. So now we're going to go to OBS, set visibility state, turn that on, and then whenever we go to here, we will also turn on the music. So that's going to become visible. One of the next things you need to do is you want to go to OBS sources and you want to set the GDI text. So now what you're doing is you're saying, okay, we have the Raiders text. And what we want it to say is this Raiders coming. The variable for who is the Raider is percent user percent. So that is fill in the blank is rating us. So I'm going to put is rating us with and then i'm going to end that one there and then i'm going to do the same thing obs sources and set gdi text except this time i will select viewers and i'm going to put percent viewers percent except i should spell it correctly um and then i'll put the word viewers again because the percent viewers percent is going to be a number on screen. 
So I do this in twos. I had some comments on my other video saying you don't have to do this in twos, it's just making it more complicated. I don't know if it's more complicated, but it is adding a second step. What I like is where you saw on my OBS where it said raters and viewers. Well, now I can put those wherever I want. It doesn't have to be one long thing. I can actually put them wherever I want on screen. So that's the reason I do them in twos. Now that we have OBS getting that information and turning those words into our user and turning them into how many people are coming, we now want OBS to turn on those sources. So we will go to set visibility state and we will go to uh, raid raiders, set it as visible. And then we will go to OBS again, sources again, set visibility state. And then we are going to take viewers and turn it visible. Now that we have our GIF on, the music on, getting information, getting information, turning on our information, how long do we need to keep it on for? Let's go back over to OBS. Uh, we'll go to the sax is the longest. That's 13 seconds. So I don't know if that's 13 full seconds. Is it almost 14? So we'll probably just send it for 14 seconds. So let's go back to StreamerBot and then we'll put a delay in for... 14 seconds because that is definitely going to cover our 13 seconds after the 14 seconds i want everything to get turned off now if i want to turn off this gif i can go back go to obs and go back to sources and go to visibility state and i can do all of that again and then hit hidden what's easier is if you just go to one that you already have on right click hit duplicate and then double click it and now you can just change it to hidden same thing with raiders i want to duplicate it not toggle change it to hidden and then with viewers i will do the exact same thing and just like that we are done we have a raid built get information turn on the gif turn on the music Get this information turn on the information wait for the entirety of the longest thing which is the saxophone and then turn everything off now we need to go up to triggers this is the thing that's different from my video this wasn't here before you had to go to a different menu all you need to do here is right click then you need to go to twitch raid and raid you get to select minimum maximum if you wanted to do zero to 100 raiders is a different raid alert than 101 raiders to 200 raiders you could have different raid alerts for different amounts of raiders right now i just have the one raid i don't need that so i'm going to put zero to 5,000. Highly doubt I will have 5,001 people ever raid me, so this is safe that this will cover all raids. Now I have a raid trigger built right up here. You can right click and hit test trigger if you would like to do that. So let's go over to OBS, get you on the window so you can see this raid happen. But all I'll be doing is right clicking right here and testing the trigger. Now we are back over here at OBS. Let's see what happens when I right click and test trigger. Okay, so now we see our Raider is going to come in about here would be a good spot. We can go to Transform, Center Horizontally, and then we can see that our Viewers is going to come in here, Center Horizontally. I will put that on that one. Center Horizontally. Now that's in here. Our GIF is right here. So now we got everything lined up. So if you see what I mean, I can put these on top of each other where if it was just one, it would all be in this line right here. If you like that, do it as one. This is two. So now that we got it lined up, let's try it again. Now I realize that that GIF is very short. You can go into the GIF and we can loop it if we wanted to. So it just keeps going over and over. Unless you have a video that is the specific length of a song that you have, you know, build your raid however you want. That's your details. This was just quick and easy to show you how to show a GIF, to show some music, who's rating you, and to show how many people is rating you. And then how to get this information 
to go to StreamerBot and tell it what to show on OBS, when to show it, how to get certain information, and how to trigger it. Hopefully that has helped you guys with this updated video. Like I said, it's gonna be on both channels. The next couple will be on the both channels. If you guys have any questions, any comments, please feel free to put them down in the comments. I will try my best to answer them, and if it's something I don't know, I'll try to look it up. Hopefully you all have a great day or night whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you all in the next one.